Hey there, Ulti Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragon. In the last episode, uh, we beat up a guy who then proceeded to do the thing that we were trying to beat him up to stop to do. Um, and he did a thing, and so it's like the world's gonna explode or something. So everybody's evacuating, and then Ignitus was like, hey, we should go fight. Malifor in the meantime. So, go fight Malifor. And so we're here to fight Malifor, but Ignitus, like, used a shield to, like, get us here. Or something. And then, like, he couldn't handle it, so he was just, like, you know what? Here, go zoop away. And so he zooped us away. At the cost of, presumably, his own life. We didn't actually see him die, so you know that means that he's not actually dead. We just think he's dead. That's how this game... That's how... That sort of thing usually tends to work, and this is a very tropey game, so I'm expecting all the most tropes to be tropied here. So, yeah, uh, I don't know. Ignitus is either dead or not, it's Schrodinger's dragon. And either way, Spyro is like, eh, why do you have to die to help us save the world? I won't accept this, and Cinder was like, no, Spyro, don't, giving her best Willy Wonka impression. And that was enough to get Spyro to be like, okay, fine. I won't be angry Dark Spyro. And so, uh... Yeah. That's my summation of everything that's been going on. So, uh, yeah. Um, now we're just going. We're in this place. Malifor's... Volcano Death Place. Bowser's castle. I don't know. Uh-oh, it's Angie time. Angie time. My favorite time. Time for everybody to be Angie. The more I keep up my attacks, the better. Because then I get more fury and I can kill everybody very easily. Right, here we go. Everybody, time to die now. Well, I don't, I don't know what I just killed, but I killed something. Uh, I'm almost dead, so... How about you do this, Spyro? Doing a great job. I mean, with how much magic I have, this works just fine. I'm not complaining. <laughs> we did it. Oh, okay, that certainly happened. Uh, I don't know which direction I just came from. There's no landmarks or anything, it's all just like this dark dreariness. Uh, do I have enough energy to up a uppy buffy? <laughs> to, you know, to use the colloqui colloquial term. I do not. For Cinder, I probably do, though. For Cinder, I've got max everything except for here, so sure. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Oh, 
Like, any way I could speed this up? Potentially? Maybe? Ooh. Oh, so close. Okay, well, I only need to find a couple more blue crystals before I'm maxed out with Cinder. Which definitely makes Spyro feel like he's lagging behind. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fully upgrade Spyro, but I don't care. Anyways. It's like, when I... Where did I get... Come from? Up here, right? Yeah, okay, so I came from up there. And there was a save point over here, I think? So, I guess I'll go come over here and save. Okay, that's nothing. Save game. I'm gonna keep my Ruins of Warfang, uh, save file just in case, cause... I haven't tr fully checked to see if everything is saved. I'll handle this. Okay. Uh, the main thing is over here is that I just want to, because like it looks like over by the save area is where you want to go. Uh, for for the record, since I was using guide last time, I have the guide open, but I'm not looking at it right now. Because like I feel like what, I, in retrospect, looking at it last time, I think dictated a little bit too much of my play. So for me right now, I'm just kind of like. I'm experiencing the game, and then once I get to a point where, like, then I'm actually looking for stuff, then I'll be like, okay, now let's use the guide. So I think it's more, it's better to, like, preserve it for, like, later on, you know? Don't roll right into the lava now. So you're a regenerating mana thing. Good to know. You're a regenerating health thing. Also good to know. Hmm. Was there really nothing else over here? I... I, I f yeah, there was the enemies to kill. But I, I feel like... Considering there are multiple pathways, I don't, I don't know, I, I feel weird about all this. Whatever. There's a save point here, and a way to go down there, and there will probably be more enemies to fight. Because this just feels like another enemy arena. Maybe. Potentially. Be a yes. Zoom in of dramatic tension. I lost all my combo points? Why? That's annoying. Well, 
Time to just keep mashing the X button then. Gotta get myself Fury. Alright, there's Fury. Death time! Yay! I like giving people death. Flying guys, reach the volcano. Okay. Oh, I'm Mac. Why did it max me out on this? Oh, that might have been. That might not be because of the cutscene and because Fury ended. That would make, I guess, a little more sense. That Fury just makes you super uber magical. Uh, okay. I don't have much health. Was there a health thing nearby? I don't know. Uh, one thing I should remember to do is the next time I do get Fury, I should switch to Spyro because it doesn't actually matter who, whose Fury I'm using. They're both the same. But if Spyro gets like the experience points for killing the enemies in that instance, that'll probably be good because Cinder really doesn't need... Honestly, I'm not sure if Cinder needs any more. Now I think about it. Fender may just straight up not need any more. Yeah. The mass check's out here. No, it doesn't! No! <laughs> Fine. She needs, like, 600 more points. One more battle, and she'll win, so... Huh. You're just really hard to hit. That's a very nice thing about the poison touch, is that it means that, like... Even under normal circumstances, it's very... E oh! Max! I reached Max! So that's kind of nice that it outright tells you. Well, if I have Max, might as well. Bump that in. My Fury level's been increased. Cinder's amazing now. So. I guess that's what happens when you only care about one character, huh? Ooh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Turn. 
So these are still going to be very much worth doing for the sake of getting Spyro some points, you know? Cinder? What the heck happened to your health, Cinder? Cinder. Are you taking lava baths again? <laughs> yes. Yes, she is. Cinder. Cinder. I know you're named after it, but it's not a good idea. Okay, well, I'm gonna swap your thing. Maybe I should not be on you just in case. Okay, I'll give you some regenerating health so you can get that all back, you dungus. What were you thinking? The answer was, she was not thinking. Um... Cinder! Seriously, stop it! Because of your dumbness... Ow. Okay, well, normally I would just use Cinder for that, but Cinder is currently a little indisposed. So what else is around while I wait for her health to blow? Yeah, I'm just gonna stay doing this for a while. It gives me fury, which is very nice. I'm, I think I'm gonna use the fury on, like, the big guy over there. Eventually, these guys will die. I would use the Fury, but... Alright, Cinder, you've got enough health. Oh, more enemies. Well, that's actually a little annoying. Like, I don't want to use my fury on these guys when I have that other big guy to deal with. So 
away, go away, go away. I really don't want to use the fury! But I'm about to die. So fine. Piece of shit. Oh my god, how many of these guys are there? There's still more even after the Fury stuff. Well, I guess I can get more Fury by doing this. Oh good, another big guy. You know, the exact thing I was trying to use Fury on. Um... Ladies first. Yeah, this is hurting me way too much. Okay, well, maybe I'll go find some other enemies to kill somewhere. I don't like this area. I'm gonna say that much. The enemies take way too long to kill. I left the area and now everybody's... Oh my fucking lord. Okay, well... Here's what I'm going to do. Use this strategy to build up all my fury. I'll eventually get it back, and then I'm just going to keep spamming it as much as I can. You know, Cinder, you could do anything at any point. gotta be fucking kidding me! Holy shit, this is stupid! The only th reason why I'm doing any of this is because there's... an obvious, like, reward treasure chest floating in the middle there. But that guy whacked me so hard that he reset himself!
I found a different way to go. I'm going this way. I've been recording for 30 minutes. I've done nothing. I'm just getting very frustrated. Fighting enemies in this area is awful. Oh. Lovely. My absolute favorite. Okay, well, what am I supposed to do if I run out of mana? Usually there's been a green crystal around here, around these guys. But, not so much now. And Spyro doesn't have anything like that. So, um... Cool. I guess I'm just out of luck. Unless I can, like... Get him to be... A different thing that Cinder can take on. Man, there's all these stupid enemies to do, to deal with, and I can't deal with any of them. I'm not in a good position for any of it. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. There's a green crystal over this way. By this bullshit. I'm going to build up Spire Mana. And while I wait for that crystal to come back... Okay, I can't go that way. Cool. It certainly looks like I can. Now with all my green... I'm going to rebuild up my purple. Okay. Purple's built up, but I'm not killing these guys just yet. I'm gonna get more green so I can kill... So I can knock that mask off that guy. Assuming he stays electric. He might not be electric after I get back, but we'll find out. Oh, now he's green. Ow, that does a lot of damage. I knock this stupid mask off. I press the wrong button. You know, I'm probably gonna die anyway. Let's just see if Fury can actually knock the mask off. For all I know, it can. It can. Cool. All right. You are definitely the most, like, egregious annoyance of this whole thing. But getting rid of you, absolutely wonderful. 
And I get more health for that. Okay. Alright. Now I'm gonna do the same strategy as before. But on the other guy. The one who's just standing on a platform all by himself. Actually, I might just be able to, like... Can I, like, walk him into stuns? Let me land, you stupid game! If I'm in the air, I go sent flying! I just want to land! I just want to land! Why is it so hard to land? Okay. Well, I was not on the right thing. Okay, he doesn't get stunned. I'm going back over this way. Land. Now the usual. Burn you guys until I get Fury. Okay, I got Fury now. I'm also almost dead. But, that shouldn't matter. Okay, now I can kill this guy. Anything else that might spawn here. Mana Crystal. Alright. Now I just have this other thing to deal with. So I'm just going to meet you guys once I've dealt with it. Thank God. Oh my lord, that took way too long, way too many tries. Ugh. That was a right misery. But I got a thing for Spyro, I think. Is what I remember the guide saying Spyro gets an armor before Cinder does, yeah. Ugh, okay. Spyro's armor. Fury Breath unlocked. What does that mean? I don't appear to have anything different. Well, I have a lot of experience points for Spyro now. I've been recording for 50 goddamn minutes. I guess I can finish leveling up Earth. Okay, my math was apparently way off. Whatever. Okay, well... 
That was nonsense, that's for sure. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else I necessarily want to do immediately. So, uh... I guess I can do a quick scout around and then end the episode. I'm definitely cutting a lot of stuff out, that's for sure. Oh, Cinder almost just died again. That's lovely. Um, yeah, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragon, we're gonna continue on this stupid level of nonsense and frustration. So, uh, yeah, see you guys then.